Of course you did. You did? Yeah, sure. How about you two? Good, yeah, fine. Good. Go. No turning back. Nope. Hey, you know what I still think about? What? How come we get to live in better conditions than the people in the shanty town? How is that possible? Pure probability. Geographically and demographically, we were born in the right place at the right time. They weren't so lucky. Right. Oh, they really don't seem to want us to go. No, but considering the amount of time... Whoa. You okay? Yeah, just a bit startled. Are they insane? They're not helping anyone by trying to hurt us. Don't they understand that we're doing this to save them? Those people will be on the MPT waiting list until the day that they die. You saw the WSA using so many resources to send four people to space? You'd be angry too. They don't understand. But when we bring the arcs back, they will. Oh, they won't. I mean, they might, and I hope they do, but they're promising something that might not happen, even if we do bring back the arcs. Hope springs eternal in the human breast. That's the way I choose to view it. Alexander Pope. The soul uneasy and confined from home dreams of a life to come. Look at you knowing your poetry. What can I say? I'm not just a pretty face. Okay. Take a look at this view. Wow. Never ceases to amaze, right? It's a shame we couldn't build her properly. What? With all these shortages of materials, it really is a miracle that this thing is here at all. You couldn't mention this in all these months of prep that we're flying economy class? No, I didn't want to worry you. Except for right before taking off. Seemed only fair to disclose it now? Sure, sure. If Claire believes we can use her for the mission, we should trust her. I believe Zephyr 3 will handle the mission just fine.
Launch sequence initiated. Opera team, this is ground control. Proceed with final checks. Copy, GC. Opera team, comms check. Go. 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 Cat, systems check. Oxygen. Oxygen is go. Flight. Flight is go. Navigation. Navigation is go. Ground launch sequencer. Ground launch sequencer is go. Fuel. Fuel is go. Liquid oxygen. Liquid oxygen is go. Power. Power is go. Launch sequence functions. Launch sequence functions are go. Propellant load check. Good to go. Brian, airtight seal and cockpit air composition check. Seal and air composition are go. Sarah, start fuel cell thermal conditioning. Conditioning is a go. Cat, strong back retract. Strong back successfully retracted. Sarah, bent off lines. Lines are vented. We are go. Starting automatic ground launch sequencer. Sequencer is a go. Cat, retract orbiter access arm. Orbiter access arm is retracted. Copy. Start auxiliary power units. Auxiliary power units are go. Copy. Retract gaseous oxygen vent arm. Cap retracted. Opera team, visors down. Go. 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 Cat, orbiter transfer from ground to internal power. Transfer complete. We're on internal power. Sarah, activate launch pads down to pressure system. The pressure system online. Activating solid fuel thrusters hydrogen burn off system. Burn off system, are a go. Cat, initiate solid fuel thrusters start. Solid fuel thrusters are a go. Copy, thrusters up. We are going for launch. Here we go.
go. Copy. Initiate second stage ignition. Go. The second stage throttles up. Go. And it's away. Here we go, Opera Team. A journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Babe, did you prepare philosophical quotes for the entire journey, or...? Only like five a day. Oh, good. Wanna see something cool? Maybe I have skateboards. You didn't like it? I mean, it's great, truly. One small step was already taken, so... Oh, wow, old school, huh? Yeah. excited. You never look excited. Don't be cheeky. I was as frugal as possible when designing this ship. However, I did splurge on one last minute addition. A window. You're really ruining the moment. Sorry. Just look. This is what we're doing it for. Right, Kat? Yeah, absolutely. Sarah and Ryan are probably settling into their pod. I'll head back to the cockpit. Be right there. Okay, now be on 
Ghost, did Claire ever take you this far from the house? No. Hmm. Well, then this hopefully will be a nice surprise. Follow me, Moonbear. You know what they call these things? Bubblegum coral. No way! I swear. It doesn't look like bubblegum at all. Well, well, I mean, it probably did back in the day when they named it. <laughs> you, you want to give it a new name? Um, <clears throat> Poop Coral? Of course. I'm glad that you can ask. <laughs> you know, Mum loved diving too. We used to go diving together all the time after Daddy's training. Training for space? Yeah, uh, just like I'm training you to go to space now too. Dirty underwater. Uh, um, yeah, I'm afraid we did that. No way. I never threw anything in the water. Right, yeah, well, I mean, not you, a lot of other people did. Unfortunately. I'll clean it up so the water can look nice again. Well, we, uh, we might be about 50 to 80 years too late for that, I'm afraid. Okay, we're almost here. Come look. Want to go to space? You heard that too, right? Yes. I'm in the cockpit checking the diagnostics. Meet me here? Sure. I need eyes on to determine the damage. I'll perform an EVA and let you know, GC. Copy. Did the thruster get hit? Probably. Could you keep an eye on the diagnostics? I'll get ready. Wait, wait, wait. Let me do it. Look, I need real life experience out there. Of all the EVAs we could have, this one is pretty safe, right? I mean, I could just casually mention my stellar extravehicular activities training score. No, it's fine. I think it was 94. Mine was 95. See, you're so much better with numbers. Best you monitor the diagnostics. Fine. Just be very careful. We're still in orbit, so watch out for debris. Got it. Get prepped at the airlock, and I'll guide you on comms. Find yourself drifting, use your thrusters to correct, and quickly double check the latch of your left nozzle controller. And when I've double checked it, Claire. I'm fine. I don't think you really double checked. Claire, I've got this. All right. Take rest out of the airlock. So what's all this from, anyway? Satellites, mission-related debris, even 
pieces from Sarah's old station. Pearson Space Station? From when Rolf survived the breach during the moon mission? Uh-huh. Huh. I'm... kind of honoured. What a weird thing to feel honoured about. <laughs> right, first things first. What can you see? Is there any damage to the thruster? <laughs> There's a huge bit of debris stuck in the thruster. Could be from the space station. Okay. Is the plating around the base of the thruster damaged? It's seen better days, but it's holding together. Good. What about the pipes around the thruster? They're pretty badly bent. Okay. Don't need to be cut away if we want the thruster to be even semi-functional. Is the thruster still receiving power? It is. Shut off the power lines before you do anything else. There's a big button in the hatch, just press it and you're good to go. Okay. And watch out for the fuel canisters. If you hit one of those while you're cutting it. Well, don't, please. What do they look like? The big yellow canisters. Do you see them? I see them. Don't worry, I'll be careful. Very careful. Very careful. Turn the power off and begin the debris removal. Remember that sunken <sighs> space station in the bay behind our house? Yes. Why? I was just thinking about it earlier. Did Dad ever take you swimming there when you were young? He did, but not when I was that young. What do you mean? Well... Never mind. So, anybody you... fancy back home? Wait, what? <laughs> or maybe even on the ship. What? Ryan? Not or Sarah, I don't care. Apparently not. Least of all that they're married. You can still have feelings for someone despite the circumstances. I don't know, with everything that's going on with the world, we never really talk about this kind of stuff. Do you ever think about something like love? Do you? Good point. I'll be shutting up now. I love you. Does that count? No. <laughs>
done. Okay, good job. Turn the power back on, and I'll run a diagnostic. On it. Power's back on. Running diagnostic now. And we're good. Okay. Great job, Cal. Head back inside. Uh, carefully. Yes. Yes, Claire. <laughs>